This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson Getting Properties, Change. In the last level, the program only got the interval value from the slider when you press the left button. Sometimes, though, you'll want to change the interval of the LED as soon as the user chooses a new value. For that, you'll need Change Event. Ooh, cool. Do this. Look at the first event block in the program and find where it says Change. Okay, so here's my event block on the interval change. Okay, got it. Inside the event block, get the interval value from the slider and use it to make the LED blink at that new rate. Inside the event block. Awesome. So inside this event block, we need to do what we have been. All right. I'm going to use a variable kind of like they did here. So inside the event block, get the interval value from the slider. So right like they did here. Variable. And it's declared down here, but we don't have access to that. So we can say interval again because it's not a universal one. And then what do we want to set it equal to? Well, the same idea. We want to say our new variable interval is going to equal, well, this ID is interval. So what the intervals from the screen's value is. So now on the event that the interval item, right, ID element changes, it triggers this function. This function creates this new variable interval. Because this interval is locked in this function. Nothing else in over here sees it. So it creates a new variable interval. It looks at the interval and grabs its value. And then what we're going to want to do is to change the rate. Yep, so it's the same thing. We're going to make the LED blink. At the rate of our new variable interval, which is set to equal whatever's on this. Run the program, move the slider to see whether the speed, yep, okay. Um, this is just yellow because we have this event here and we're not using it yet. I'm going to leave it for now. Don't worry about it. Oh. Yeah, slow. fast that's cool so now it's a really short time in between blinking and a long time in between blinking awesome let's keep going